hello everyone welcome back again to my channel um, my name is V so today I want to take you uh, a little deeper into the journey of my story and where my life began this is probably the most important video I am ever going to make as you can tell from the title this is my testimony on how I went from Muslim to Christian now I've been wanting to film this video since 2016 but I ended up not doing it it just you know wasn't in God's timing I guess and I also wasn't ready to tell my story I felt like there were a few details that I left out and just some other things that I wanted to change up so that's why I want to make sure that I get it just right now first of all I want to apologize if my English is not that good because um, English is not my first language but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying so um, I want to share how I found God and had encounter with him I've been through you know a lot of hardship and my whole life was completely miserable before I knew who God is and the reason why I made this video is because as believers we all go through the same thing um, and I knew that you know my testimony is somehow going to help someone so I came from a Muslim family and I never thought that I wanted to be a Christian my whole family is Muslim and they are all very religious people I hate Christianity because in my former religion we're told to always keep in mind that our religion is the right religion among any other religion so that's where you know the root of hatred began i heard the name of jesus quite quite often especially when i was working in singapore and in 2004 after i came back from you know singapore i work in a company and my boss at the time always talk about Jesus and the new heaven and earth you know which I thought was nonsense at the time but it is actually written in you know Revelation chapter 21 so when I was a teenager by the time I was 20 or something I started to have an inexplicable void in my heart a void that I thought nothing could ever fill I was wondering and thinking that something was you know missing from my life and I felt like I had the urge to you know find those things in order to be fulfilled but I don't know what it was so what I did was to start you know start to change my attitude I was hanging out with the wrong crowd just to fill the void and loneliness I had and by the age of 22 I got pregnant and the moment that changed everything for me even though I know uh, you know even though I didn't know that God was real was when I had the thought to have an abortion I told myself that I didn't want to have this child I am too young and I wasn't ready to be a mother at that moment I felt so scared and abandoned I knew I made a mistake but I don't know what to do I've never been in this you know situation before where I felt like I was all by myself that night I prayed to Allah to deliver me from this situation but it seems like nothing happened so being in the midst of confusion I decided to take responsibility for what I did and I ended up keeping you know the child and I could tell that I was in a difficult situation where I'm scared to tell this whole story to my family of course they will get mad if they find out and on the other side I'm shy of getting pregnant out of marriage so the only way that I learned to accept it was because when I chose to do the abortion I know I was going to kill this baby and I was scared of going to hell so when my child was born her father and I started to have an argument we never had when it was just the two of us we argue about money work our living arrangements and I felt hopeless because I used to work and now I'm here with nothing to do no money and just kind of you know feeling so depressed 
and while I was dreaming about a beautiful life and having a perfect family unfortunately this beautiful dream has never become reality I never felt like you know what it looks like to be in a beautiful marriage where there is someone who loves me cares about me and supports me instead <laughs> I got a nightmare so there are so many problems coming and coming again and I tried everything yet nothing seems to work to fix things my husband started to look strange and he becomes someone I didn't know um, so everything doesn't work really well but it's getting worse and one day his sister approached me and offered me a prayer with one of her spiritual sister from her church and honestly I refused it because I was raised Muslim and I don't believe in Jesus why would I accept her prayer right but in my mind this is the only option I had not tried going to God so after those prayers I felt something different I've never felt so calm and peaceful in my heart and that night I prayed that if Jesus is real help me and for the first time I cried in my prayer during my darkest moment I'm weeping like a child I said God I knew I made a mistake but I've heard that you know there's a power in your name I don't know who you are my religion tells me that there is no God except Allah but today I called your name and I need someone to help and please help me and all of a sudden it was like the builders that I had been carrying around just lifted even though I knew my problem was still there the peace that I feel transcends all understanding and it strengthens me and gives me hope to keep going um, and that was my last research after I found out who God was and it has been my last trial since then truly God is faithful to be found by those who seek him in November 2006 I gave my life to Jesus and got baptized and on that day I surrendered my life my problems my pain my dreams my fears my burdens my future my worries everything to Jesus Christ but I wish I could tell you that there were you know there was a part of my story where God just fell on me and everything changed but the reality is that something struck me down in 2007 after getting married everything seems fine until I start you know noticing that something's off and essentially there was a feeling of just picking up his cell phone like picking up my husband's phone and so I did and then I see this message from a girl and it's like what <laughs> I saw a romantic message that says I miss you and all the stuff so like everything just shattered everything just crumpled infidelity has you know entered our marriage my husband got caught cheating and he had an affair and left for a new woman and I remember the last word he said he chose that woman because she was pregnant and left me alone with my baby at the time my life was completely upside down everything fell off I don't know what to do I feel you know angry I hate my husband I have this resentment towards him and this resentment lead me to hate every man I've met I got traumatized and went into depression for almost uh, two years and my Christian life is not smooth like any other Christians when I saw someone going to church with their partner or their family they were you know jealously inside of me screaming out loud and wondering why my life ended up like this I went to church every Sunday and listened to the sermon but I admit that I still can't get rid of this anger, hatred and bitterness and it wasn't done until I heard about forgiveness. I remember sitting at the back and I started to cry. I couldn't stop my tears as if I was the only one who suffered. But then I heard a voice deep inside my heart telling me to forgive my husband and cast my burden on God. I didn't know that those voices were actually God's telling me or you know trying to speak to me I remember after I heard that voice saying 
it has never been easy to forgive someone who has hurt you and destroyed your life and your future. In the back of my mind, all I thought of was revenge. I want my husband to feel the same way that I felt when he hurt me. You know, I cannot just forgive him right away because I want to see him suffer. The betrayal that I felt in losing my husband was the greatest emotion and most intense feeling of rejection I've, you know, I'd ever felt. But then there was a voice inside of me that telling me to forgive him again and again and again after what he did to me. And this time, it was so clear that it says, trust me. So I was trembling and I chose to obey and forgive my husband despite all of the things he, he did to me because the voice that I heard at that time is so strong and it was in always you know hooks in my mind wherever I go I cannot forgive that forgiveness forgive word so I went to talk to my spiritual reader leader about this and she said the voice that you heard is God's voice just obey him and forgive your husband and so I did but it took me almost six years to really forgive and forget what he had done to me and after divorce I got back into my life and I started to find you know a job trying to provide my daughter and my life even though I forgive my husband I'm not ready you know to open a new page in my life you know the spirit of fear has always haunted me how am I going to raise my daughter I'm shy about going back to my parents house I'm not ready to be a widow all those things keep you know triggering me and I admit that was the hardest moment because here I am now going back to my parents house with nothing but brokenness so basically after divorce I didn't know when I was going to even you know think about dating someone again it was just so hard to even imagine you know having to open your heart like that but then in 2009 I was trying to open my heart to someone and I've been dating several men but my purpose of dating was just to you know numb the pain and prove that I could get someone better than my husband but at the end of the day we broke up so now I decided to go back to my parents house but soon after I moved in my dad caught me reading the Bible and prayed and he asked me why I never prayed you know as a Muslim you have to pray five times a day right so I told my dad that I'm no longer a Muslim but a Christian my family didn't accept me because I comfort my faith especially my dad who was very you know religion person religious person and the time that my dad and my family found that I was a Christian they gave me an option the first option is to come back to Muslim again or second option which is worse my dad said like this you're dead to us you're no longer our daughter we cut you off from our family when you die no one is going to bury you I still remember the day my dad wanted to kill me and my mother asked me to go out of the house before my father did it. I also remember my mom selling his, you know, selling her earrings and giving that money to me to survive. I think it's a complete mess, you know, as a new believer. I don't know why I have to go through this trial. And I wonder where is God, you know, why he didn't come and help me why he is so distant i've no idea and i've become homeless too no work no money nothing so i begin to ask god in prayer if you are real why are you doing this to me i got divorced my father wants to kill me after i follow jesus my father disowned me as his daughter i got kicked out from the house i've been homeless i have no life i have no direction my life is miserable so hopeless and disappointing i doubt if god is even real see god doesn't need you to have it all together or even know him for him to be working in your life so that was when you know the grace of god meets me in my darkest place i may not see what God is doing but it wasn't until I knew that what had happened to me was actually God's intervention in my life.
God changed my life. And I'm a new woman. I'm a new person. Without God, I may have ended up broke, going to the wrong crowd and making friends with the world. But I thank God that actually God saves me. God picks me up from my brokenness and takes care of me. The way I see God is different. Yes, I may go through something, but this trial is actually God's work to show me that He exists and He wants me to put my hope and trust in Him. I may not understand what He's doing right now, but I know that He has plans for me and my future. He gave me hope to keep going. Since that moment, I no longer wanted to be in a marriage or married for the wrong reasons, like, you know, securities, just to have someone pay the bills and put food on the table. I know my God could do so much more. And even though I was afraid to be alone and overwhelmed with fears about raising and providing for a child alone, I knew God's assurance and promises were greater. He is my good, good father, my provider, my help, my refuge, my strength, and he has sustained me. He is also my partner. People think maybe I was wrong because I changed my faith, but I stood up for what I knew was right in the eyes of God. And God is faithful to his promises, honoring and blessing my obedience. The biggest blessing to me is God's manifest present in my life and the peace in my heart that transcends all understanding the kind of peace that the comfort seeking world cannot give i have rest and peace because god is with me my daughter and i are family and god is both of our fathers the dependent faithful god himself completes our family my desire for husband is still you know very much alive in my heart but I surrendered it to God trusting that you know he will honor it only if it's according to his good pleasing and perfect will and it should be God's will that I no longer marry he alone is enough to satisfy my heart and complete my family of two now it's been 16 years since that divorce and I'm okay I feel much better being a single mom and this story is probably going to give me you know and be my life lesson I thank God in Jesus Christ who give me strength and help me through this trial without him I'm nothing and God give me you know the opportunity to raise my daughter God give me the opportunity to forgive someone who had been hurting me and give me a new life so that I could walk in truth, the truth that set me free, and I believe today that God wants you to do that God wants to do something in your life. The Lord wants to give you a clean state. He wants to renew the vision that He put inside your heart many years ago for you, for your children and your loved ones. If God can change my heart and give me a new heart so that I'll be able to forgive. He can do the same for you. The same God will make a way when there seems to be no way. Once I was afraid to be alone, but now I only desire to be alone with God. Once clinging to men and wrong relationship, but now solely Christ dependent. Once condemned, now completely cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you with that today. You know, there is so much more in this story, but God has written a story in your life that He fully intends to fulfill. There's a destiny and the power of His might. And whatever you are going through right now, always remember that everything happens for a reason. Have faith in God because all of this trial and hardship is just temporary. And God promises to always be there for us so we don't have to be afraid in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 it says no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind and god is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond beyond what you can bear but when you are tempted he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it so 
through this video I want to say that if you have a hard time forgiving someone who betrayed you listen if you say that you already forgive someone but you still hold on to anger or bitterness that means you don't know what forgiveness is forgiveness is not for others it's for you forgiveness will heal you because when you forgive someone you let go of the anger and bitterness that hold you back to forgive someone is not easy it's a choice and it takes willingness so now it's been 16 years since I got baptized and I know my life story as a Christian was not easy at all there are a lot of ups and down and I have a lot of stories to tell but you know maybe I will I will make another video about that so yeah last but not least John 8 verse 32 says then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free that's exactly what I feel and I am free from religion and God is the way the truth and life <sighs> I think that's all my story and thank you for watching I'll see you on my next video God bless you all bye